The short and long term management of fractures can be summarised by the four R's. Resuscitate, reduce, retain and rehab. Resuscitation refers to when you first see a patient with a suspected fracture. You want to do a full A to E assessment, in particular looking for signs of infection, blood loss or any further fractures. It's also important to start painkillers at this point. Reducing a fracture is how we get a displaced fracture such as it is shown back into the correct anatomical position. This can be done via an open reduction, a surgical procedure indicated with neurovascular damage or an intraarticular fracture which is involving a joint space. Or a closed reduction which is where we manipulate the fracture site through the skin which is indicated with an extraarticular fracture not involving any joint spaces. No reduction can be used if the fracture is already not displaced and it's already in the correct anatomical position. When it comes to retaining the fracture, this is where we're looking at six to eight weeks of immobilization at the fracture site. We can do this conservatively with braces, splints and casts, or with an internal fixation, another surgical procedure that puts plates and screws at the fracture site. Rarely you may see an external fixation where the screws may be protruding from the skin a specialist surgical procedure reserved for those with severe or infected fracture sites. And last but not least, rehab. It needs to involve physios to mobilise the limb and joints ASAP 